Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. I got something pretty cool in the mail this week and I wanted to share with you guys. I'm sure some of you have already seen it if you don't already own it. But what it is, is it's called the, uh, the side shot scope mount. It's a mount that goes on your optic that allows you to use your cell phone to view what you're seeing. Most cell phones have really good video quality, so this is a pretty good idea as far as I'm concerned. Um, We'll take a quicker look at it and show you guys what it's about. So this is a little bit closer of a video. You can tell it's uh, pretty well thought out. It's got a lot of adjustment and it's got a lot of hardware. It is made of like a hard polymer, a hard plastic, but all the pieces are, are secure. I don't think you have to worry about it unless you drop it off of a cliff. Uh, you, first thing you can see obviously is a rubber end piece. Um, that's for right-handed. You can also fold this back if you want to get it out of the way or rotate it if you want to shoot uh, left-handed. If you look, you can see it's got a plastic coating on there, which is nice. It's got a clear lens because when you use this, you won't be able to use a rear uh, flip-up cap to protect your optic. So as long as this is on it, it's still going to be protected. Uh, and basically, the, the, the concept, once you get this all adjusted, you can just slide your phone into place, throw your lever here, and now you can see it's already adjusted to view down the optic itself. So pretty cool setup. The back side of it, has a bunch of adjustment wheels as you can see uh, the wheel here is going to adjust your height up and down this wheel here is going to adjust length of your um, cell phone these two wheels are going to lower the the base or the the height of your phone setup was pretty easy now, one thing that's really important that i forgot to mention is this uh, little wheel at the top here it's like a fine adjustment wheel so once you get it narrowed down you can use your fine adjustment to uh, to finish it off um, like setting up a scope for your eye, you want to do this probably on max magnification. It's going to give you the best field of view. If you get it set at your max mag, everything else is going to fall into place well, and you're going to have a wide field of view. Um, this is basically the additional piece that you have to get. This all comes as a kit, but if you want to switch from one rifle scope to another, this is going to be the piece that you'd have to buy additional. Uh, these are, I think, $50. They're not cheap. If you want something that works, you got to spend a little bit of money. The directions tell you that they want to get this piece here. It's got a, I don't know how good you can see it, but it's got a little rim on there. You want that basically to butt up against the eyepiece. So I did have to slide my ring forward, which isn't ideal, but if I want to use this, I guess that's what I got to do. And then this just slides into place. And once it's set up, you never have to worry about it. So you can see it's buttoned up against the, the scope eyepiece and then you're just going to crank down these knobs. I don't know how good you can see them. There's these little small knobs on the top and then there's one down below here and then once you secure it you don't really have to worry about it. Now you can just take your scope or your camera slide it into place and lock it down. Let's take some shots with it and see how it does. That's about 50 yards oh. over the top. Let's go up to the far one. You got any mag bullets left? That wind's pushing pretty good. What's cool is, like I, like I was saying, if you're a new shooter and you're sitting with somebody, they can sit on the side and they can actually see what you're doing. So if you tell them to hold a mil high or three mils high, you can actually see if you're teaching maybe your a kid or your wife or anybody, it's kind of it helps you out by being set up like that. Got it. Right in the middle now. Maybe this weekend we'll get it out and put it on some bigger rifles and see how it handles under a little bit of recoil. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next video.